Good afternoon Retriever fans and welcome back to another edition of the UMBC Coaches Corner. I'm Dan LaHatt. Once again I'm joined by head baseball coach, Coach Bob Muma. Coach, welcome back. Thank you, Dan. Pretty successful weekend here on Senior Weekend. Got two out of three games against conference rival Hartford. To add that on to the two wins you had last week and it's a four win week for the Retrievers. Yeah, I think great week for us. I guess what, uh, you know, four in a row for the longest winning streak of the season and uh, kids played great against uh, Eastern Shore and some kind of crazy conditions with the rain in the area and followed up with a good game against Coppin and we played pretty good against Hartford and you know you know won the first two games faced a really quality lefty in game three and you know had a chance to win the ball game and uh, you know they came up with one or two just kind of key hits and ended up getting their victory but a, but a great week for the team and especially late in the year I'm proud of the kids they're, they're still playing hard and uh, you know we're, we're still winning ball games. Now Saturday two complete game efforts by Matt Gill yeah. who's named conference pitcher of the week and then Mike Gomez finishing up with a very strong nine inning effort. Yeah. What's it been like that transformation for the pitching pitching staff and especially what has Coach Bowen done to improve that drastically on this five run difference this year from last year? Yeah, he, He's done a great job and, and certainly second year working with him with all the pitchers and a little more experience for, for the John Cones, for the Matt Gills, you know, that kind of stuff. But really, you know, the freshmen that we brought in have really stepped in right away and, and, and done a great job. And I think the big thing with this staff is, you know, we, we've got some guys that have some great pitch ability. They have two or three pitches for strikes, but they throw a boatload of strikes. And, and probably just as much with that goes credit to Coach Williams because our, our infield defense is so much better. So our pitchers are better. We defend it better. So it all equals to giving up a lot less runs. And, uh, you know, the, the coaches this year have done a great job. And of course, the kids have responded, uh, doing doing great. But you know, back to Matt Gill, complete game. He's he's been a workhorse for us all season. And of course, Gomez up at their place. You know, I guess uh, blow a save, but throws you know eight innings and strikes out fourteen. He picked up where he left off. So just outstanding outings, individual outings for them. But pitching staff as a whole has been done a great job this year. Really has. Now it's going to be a challenging end of the season. You get Georgetown tomorrow coming mm -hmm. out of the Big East, right at Alumni Field, and then right. having to make that huge trek up to Maine. Yeah. Nice nice bus ride all the way up ninety five. But uh, obviously we want to go out on a high note, mm -hmm. but A, what are you going to take from this year? And B, how are you going to keep your kids motivated to go out there and play some good baseball to finish off? The yeah, year? you know, to be honest with you, I'm really not worried about these kids showing up to play. Obviously, it's a little bit of a challenge. We're going up to Maine. It's, it's finals weekend. You know, they got that going on. But these kids will show up to play, and, and I'm proud of them for where they're at. And we've, we've really been playing some of our best baseball, particularly offensively, the last two weeks. So we're hoping that continues uh, got a really good Georgetown team coming into our place, haven't beaten for a while, and competitive game the first time around. But if we again, if we play well, I think we have a chance to beat them. And love to go up there to Maine and and, and beat Maine, you know, a game or two. The goal is to win the series. But you know, really, what I take from from this season is we anyone that watches us play, we're dramatically better. We're better on the mound. Uh, we're better defensively. We're still an incredibly young team, two seniors compared to what 13 or 14 last year, and. And the young kids are learning how to play, and I think for them it's important to go out on a good note and, and really build momentum for, ne for next year. But I'm excited about this group uh, of where they can be next year, and um, you know I think uh, anything short of anything short of playoffs and competing deep in the playoffs would probably be a disappointment next year, assuming everyone stays healthy and all the pitching's back, that kind of stuff. But proud of this group, and uh, they deserve a lot of credit for hanging in there through some tough times and, and coming out and, and playing really good baseball the last couple weeks of the season. Well, good luck closing it out this weekend. Hopefully we can get get a few more wins to write yep. about. Absolutely. Sounds great. So, Once again, the Retrievers in action, closing out the home schedule tomorrow night, Tuesday, at Alumni Field against Georgetown before heading all the way up I-95 to take on regular season champion Maine up in Orono. For the Coach's Corner, I'm Dan LaHatt.